All right, hey everyone. I'm sorry about the uh, abrupt ending on the previous video. Right now we are in Concord. Um, this is the first time that you're going to go to if you follow the uh, the uh, quest line that is given to you by uh, Codsworth. Um, this is where you meet the very first Minuteman that you'll meet in the game, and he asks you to help him. Now, before I keep going, right here is where your fusion core is. It was right there. You just have to lock it, lock pick it, or you have to hack the terminal. In order to get up to um, first minute, man, <clears throat> you have to go through here, go over that bridge right there, take a right, go into the first do doorway, hang a left, go down here, and you will have two raiders trying to kill you. Go through there, and then to the left you'll find a stairwell. Go up that. And now right out here you'll have three, um, three more raiders. Then right in here is where you'll start the other quest, which is to, again, help them out some more. Then you go through here, and when you go through this doorway, well, let's let it load. And if we can, um, after I show you the, the main part about this video, I will try to explain the pit boy a little bit for uh, the new players. Right here is where the power armor is going to be. You just press X twice, it'll put in the power core, or the fusion core, and then you will be able to uh, get into the power armor. Now, for the main part of this video, this is going to be dealing with Concord's Deathclaw. Um, you're very low level, and death claws are very, very powerful creatures. So it is a little bit of a trick to be able to kill it. What you want, you want to keep him in the main street right here, so that way the minute man can shoot him. Eventually he dies. Wait, hold position. Come on. Alright, so that's how you kill the death claw. You just basically have to keep them in this main main street so that way um, the person you're helping can can get lay some shots in on them. <laughs> Remember, get as much stuff as you can. You always gotta make sure that dog meat's all right. And now your health is probably a little bit low, so you're gonna wanna obviously give yourself some uh, some aid with stim packs. Stim packs are probably gonna be your best bet. And remember, you gotta make sure you got, you're keeping a close eye on your rads. Now, all right, I'm gonna explain the pit boy a little bit for you since we have some time. In order to navigate through the different menus, you uh, L2 and R2 are what you're going to be using. Here's your stats. It tells you if, there, if you have anything crippled. It'll tell you what your health is, what your current damage threshold is, and the uh, damage that your weapon can cause. Then you have your special, which obviously your strength, perception, endurance, all that stuff. It also gives you a small... Uh, it gives you about a paragraph of about about what the perk does for you, what the special does. Then over here you have your perks, which I have Barbarian and Gun Nut currently. Go over one and 
Your inventory starts with your weapons. Then you have your apparel. Then you have your aid. And you have your misc. And then you have your junk. Which, in the previous games, misc and junk were in the same category, if I remember correctly. And then you have your mods. And ammo. Now over here you have your data. And it tells you what your quests are. Then over here it shows you where your workshops are. And then it tells you your general stats. Um, how much you've crafted, the co your combat stats, your quests, and the crime you've done. Over here you have the map. Um, it's pretty simple if you're using... I think, I think it's the same for the uh, Xbox One. You use the left joystick to navigate and you use forward and backward to zoom in and out on the map with the right joystick. Then over here you have your radio, which, okay, you have your Diamond City radio and you have classical radio. But they only, la they, like any radio, you can only reach them at a certain distance. Um, and then in order to get to your perks, you press the triangle button and you have all your perks along with your special skills up here now when you're leveling up be very careful if you do not want to up any of these do not click on any of them just go down and this is where all of your perks will be and you have a good variety of perks available to you now with that being said let's go ahead and get back to the uh, gameplay These loading screens, I'd like it if even on the small ones they give you the little tips and hints like they did on the uh, previous Fallout games, but that's just a, a minor problem I see. Hey there. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not now, if any of you played Fallout Listen. Shelter, this is met, Preston Garvey. He's one of the uh, limited well, edition did. type characters we that you, you get in your lunch boxes. I was fortunate so, enough to get him, three much, dog, and two eulogy me. Jones. I have no idea why I would have two eulogy Jones, but I have two eulogy Jones. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh. That's wonderful. Okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time. Where is my son? Oh, I, and even I'm a great. <clears throat> What's in Diamond City? Look. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That jump. All right, now we're going to go ahead. We're going to fast travel. Which you get to learn how to fast travel now using the Pip Boy. This is the quickest way to get distances uh, in the game. You running, you have to use your action points, and it can take time. Or you go into your Pip Boy, go over to the map, and find the spot where you're wanting to go. In which case, we're wanting to go to san Sanctuary. And then you get into a loading screen. Ooh, look at that! They have the Makarov. Or it's also the same it's same basic design as the Walther PPK, which James Bond uses. Uh, the Makarov was used by the Russian military and other socialist or communist, sorry, countries that were around during the uh, Cold War era and the like. Very interesting gun. Definitely worth a little bit of a read up. Now let's go ahead and uh, get out of our power armor. So no one can take it. Let's go ahead and take the fusion core out. <sighs> All right, I have to get out of it again now. Take the fusion core, and right here is where your power armor is going to be hanging. Um, there are a lot of places to find more power armor here in the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead down to the long. Uh, 
let's go ahead and upgrade the receiver to a hardened receiver. Let's go with that one. Alright, and while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to explain. Well, first of all, if you want to start the quests here, you have to. I want to trade a few things. If you go to Sturgis, you can get his Most pistols from him. Or his I pistol and his ammo from him. Now, in order to start your quest here at Sanctuary, you have to find Preston Garvey, which I don't know where he is right now. But that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and explain the settlements to you a little bit. Now in the workshop, you can go around and you can scrap stuff like this maple tree. There you go, you got 20 wood. You can scrap the street lamp and you get multiple items from that. If you're trying to build stuff with steel, the best things that you can find are the cars. You get 10 steel from them. Now like this house right here, which is right by where the workshop is, you can scrap the entire thing and you get concrete, rubber, wood, and steel. There you go. Now in order to, I'm going to go ahead and explain this to you, for the power you're going to want, you need to build your generator, okay? And once you place your generator down, in order to produce light, you need to take the connectors, and you put a pylon on them. And then from the pylon, you will put a light of any kind. Let's say right here. Alright. And... You move the pylon over to buy the light, and you have the generator, and you press triangle, and you will be able to connect the wire from the generator to the to the power pylon, and then it'll go to the light bulb, and it'll power the light bulb. Now, in order to get it inside, you need to use these uh, smaller power conduits and then you need to connect from the generator onto the uh, power conduit. Now there will be a little bit more of a detailed video later on in the videos that I'm making but for right now there aren't going to be any more. There's not going to be much more detail. But like you have your you have your structures you have prefabs which you get these different structures you have your wood floor and you can make it where it's battered and you can make it lifted which is kind of cool then you have your walls your stairs your miscellaneous then you have your metal and it's basically along the same lines but you don't get metal stairs now with that I'm going to go ahead and end this video if you would like to know anything, go ahead and leave a comment telling me what you want to know, and I will try my best to get to it. Thanks for watching.